Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with another cool bit of training. Somebody asked me about my Mac Mini and my Puppy Linux and whether it was able to work with Wi-Fi, and I did a little bit of testing, and let me show you what I found out. So first things first, you can see I'm recording on the Mac Mini using Puppy Linux and Simple Screen Recorder. Now to find out if there's Wi-Fi, first I shut off all my active networking, and then I'm gonna use the system tool and when you go up to the system, I'm going to choose the one called Hardware Info. This awesome built-in tool on Puppy Linux lets you learn about the hardware where you run the disk. As I scroll through the information, you can see the Ethernet controller, and then down here there is a Broadcom BC4321 Wi-Fi device. Let's click the Connect option, and then if we look, right there is our Wireless LAN 0 with the B43 module. When I hit WLAN 0, now I can choose my wireless network. Let's click that wireless option and see what wireless networks the device can detect. Upon hitting the scan button, it searches for anything that is by you. It is not a quick process. You'll notice that this probably takes about 35-40 seconds which seems like forever when you're waiting, but there you can see it found my 5G network and my 2.4G network and a bonus network I've got for the other half of the house. I'm gonna connect to my 2.4 gigahertz and it uses WPA2 encryption and no need to share my key with the whole world, so I'll pixelate that really quick and get it typed in. And then when I'm done, I should click that little save button so that I don't lose it. And last but not least, hit the use this profile so that it's ready for the next time I connect. A little bit of waiting patiently as it takes a little bit of time as it scans and connects and then BAM! It finds the live network and I can use the auto DHCP button to actually get an IP address and be on the network. And then we just need to wait patiently as it wraps up. It says it's going to time out after 30 seconds, but hopefully, bam, joy of joys, we are connected. And it asks, do you want to save this configuration? Even though when I'm done with this project, I am going to switch back to Ethernet because I prefer having it connected to that network. Time for a little bit of proof, though. Check this out. There you can see the lovely little Wi-Fi connector that it switches to when you've got it connected that way. Let's do a quick test by visiting Google Chrome, checking out my YouTube site, which I always like to see how things show up with the different browsers and in a Linux environment. You can see there are all the movies I had created at the time I had made this. Notice if you sit on top of the little Wi-Fi icon, you can find all kind of information about your connection, how much you've downloaded, and all kinds of stats that may help, that may help you diagnose your connection. Speaking of diagnosing, if you can't see your B43 adapter, you can hit load module to go down and find the adapter for the B43 or whatever one you may be using. Simply find it and then when you do, click that load and tell it OK. Alrighty friends, so I'm going to cancel that out since you already saw that mine was working, but if you're missing your driver, that is how you get it back. Friends, if you found this video useful, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.